In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and operate an OPC server for DDE, Dynamic Data Exchange. The OPC server I'm going to use in this, in this video is going to be from Matricon OPC. Uh, any OPC server that supports the DDD exchange would be able to work. Uh, this one's just easy to set up. So, first thing you need to do is go to the Matricon OPC website <clears throat> at www.matriconopc.com. Click on Downloads. Click on OPC Servers. You'll see that there's a multitude of OPC servers uh, that are made by uh, Matricon um, <clears throat> for different things. Mainly they're PLCs, different types of PLCs. The one in particular that we are looking for is the Matricon OPC server for DDE. Uh, so we'll click on that one. <clears throat> it's going to ask you to, uh, to download, to, to register to download. I've already registered, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the already registered button, enter my information, email address, password, comes up for the, to the download page, click on download now, and uh, you want to run or save, we want to save, and I want to view the downloads. This file size is only a little over seven meg, a little over seven and a half meg. <clears throat> Once it's downloaded, it's going to run a scan. We want to go to the download. We, we do not do not click run at this point, <clears throat> and the reason for it, I'll, I'll show you in just a minute. So we click on downloads to open up that folder. We find the file. What you want to do is once you see the file, do not double click on it. Do a right click and run. click on Run as Administrator. <clears throat> the reason you want to do this is uh, if you install this with uh, a standard user ID, it doesn't m make all the modifications to the registry. And consequently, it won't work when you get through or get through installing. So you want to run this as an administrator. Once you run it as administrator, it will, it will make all the proper uh, settings. Click on Next. Uh, accept the license agreement. We want to run this as a program, not as a Windows service, so we want to uncheck this. If you do leave this checked and you do complete the installation, uh, at the very end you're going to have to uh, obtain a license from Matricon to make it work properly. Uh, since we only want to do this for an evaluation, just to, just to see how the program works, uh, we don't want to install it as a Windows service, we want to install it as a program. You want to leave this check. The DCOM is where the permissions are set for the programs to be able to talk from one program to the next. So you want to leave this one checked and not install as a service. Click on Next. Next again. At this point, it's going to want your information. I normally just put spaces in here only because it's an evaluation. So space, tab, space, tab. And if you notice here at the very bottom, the next is grayed out. That's the only reason you have to enter that information. So I'll hit one more space. Next appears. So I click on next. I am evaluating the software. This is true. This is the server name for the DDE server that it's going to create. Uh, you can rename this if you like. Uh, I would keep it the same just to go with the uh, video, but you can change it later if you decide. Once it's through installing, it comes up with this and says the software license now can be run for a predetermined amount of time, which is 30 days. You want to click yes. It tells you that the evaluation time is 30 days. Click OK. Click on finish. You can close this uh, box, uh, this folder here for the um, <clears throat> downloads folder. Uh, you can close this as well. And you can <clears throat> minimize or close your Internet Explorer, you won't need that. Okay, now that you've installed everything, you, we need to set up the OPC server. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a Excel spreadsheet. Uh, these are just 
random names and numbers. So we got A1, B1, C1, and then we'll average those numbers just, just uh, for something to do. So we, hey, just so things change when we change things. Well, the numbers I'm putting in here are not specific to anything. You can put any numbers you want. So once you create your Excel spreadsheet, you click on File, Save As, and we'll just leave it as Book 1. You can call it anything you want. Uh, we're saving it as an Excel workbook. Uh, this, is a, this is Office 2010, so it's going to save it as an XLSX file. So we click Save. Now we click over here and we run the DDE. Two ways to do this. The best way to do it is click over here, click on Properties. Uh, once the Properties tab comes up for that, you click on Compatibility. If, in fact, this is not checked, there needs to be a check in here. You need to be able, you need to run this as an administrator every time you run it. Uh, there's another way to do it, but this guarantees that it will be. So you just put a check mark there, click OK. Then <clears throat> you come back and you run the program. So the other way you do it is to always, if you don't want to do that, is to always click up here and run as administrator. Uh, I've already set it in property, so it, it's not going to really make a difference. It's going to run an administrator regardless of which way I, I click on it. Once you once you run an administrator, if you install this as a program and not as a Windows service, you would notice that the Matricon OPC server for DDE, the icon shows up on the taskbar. You do a right click and, and click on Show Control Panel. That should set, tell you that the server is now running between here and uh, DDE, not necessarily this Excel spreadsheet. We'll have to configure that and you have no clients connected. So let's configure the server. So you click on, uh, do a right click on server configuration, define new. We're going to make a DDD, DDE configuration. You click OK. We're going to call this Excel. <clears throat> and then we're going to click Enable. If you don't click Enable, um, server won't run. This Excel server won't run. So we click OK. Click on New Aliases or Highlight Alias Configuration. Do a right click, Insert New Group. We'll leave that as new alias one. You can rename it to anything you want. <clears throat> so once it's created, you come over to here. Under name, you don't do a double click. And we're just going to give the alias names the same name as what we had. So we'll say A1. Then the syntax for this is going to be Excel pipe symbol. And the pipe symbol is shift backslash. And then a bracket uh, book. 1.xlsx close bracket sheet 1 exclamation mark and we want these numbers here now the way this looks at it these are the rows 1 2 3 4 5 and these are the columns 1 2 3 4 5 so it doesn't use uh, 1b it'll use row 1 column 2 so we have row 1 or R1 C2 and it doesn't really matter it's not case sensitive so we'll we'll save that and we'll add another one so we have B2 and that is on row 2 and we have C3 and that is on row three. And then we have average, which is on row four. And I'll just click save on this because I don't want to create a different one. So now we have all this. So now we need to file and save as. And give it any name you want. I'm going to go with. because you never know how many configuration files you'll have but you will have a Matricon OPC Explorer config later on 
We click Save on that. Click on View, Options, and right here under File Name, we want to add that. And what this is saying is <clears throat> that once we, if we ever restart this program, uh, OPC Server for DDE, it will automatically load this configuration that we've created based on the, this configuration file. So you just click OK. And then uh, we need to shut down. Two ways to do it. Click on File, Shut Down Server, or just click on the red X there. We need to restart it. And I can just do a single click on that. It, it's already set to automatically come up as an administrator. And then we'll show the control panel. It shows that it's running. We have no clients. So let's start a client program, which is Matricons Explorer. So we'll do a right click and run it as administrator. It may already be set up as administrator. We have <coughs> Matricon OPC server is recognized as the server is recognized. So we click on connect. We do add tags. Come down here to configure aliases or configured aliases. And you notice all the ones we created are, are here. So we do single click and it'll push it over. Or you can do a double click and it'll push it over. If you create one too many, just do a right click on that and remove. Once you get that done, you have the question marks in each one of the boxes. There needs to be a green check. So you come up here to validate items. You click it once. If they're all good, you will have a green check in each one. If you have a red X, that means you've more than likely typed something wrong in the server. Uh, you click OK. They should all come up here and they should come up running. So that is set. Let me see if I can make this a little smaller. Okay, so now, so I got one client running. All my numbers are here. So if I change this number, okay. So if I change this number to 37, <coughs> you should see the number 37 change here as well as the average change. So we'll change this number to 10 and it changes. If we want this, make this to where it's a number, uh, number, and we click OK. So now we have with two decimal places and you see the reflection up here. And that's all there is to, uh, to making this work.